tutorial number 4 on Vista software. I will show you how to draw 2D nano material. We will consider the example of graphene and WS2. So let's open the Vista software. Here in the download folder, I have CIF file for the graphite and WS2. Select those files and drag it to the Vista software. Now you can see a unit cell of WS2 and the graphite. If you are new to my channel, then do check out my previous video in which I have shown how to download Vista software and also how to get the CIF file for the various material from COD website for free. Okay, so let's consider the example of graphite. Go to the edit, click on the bond and select this bond. So here it shows a search mode as search A2 bonded to A1 and bonded model, a uh, bonded model where to select the third one such additional atom recursively okay once done that one you can click simply on apply and it will help you to generate the monolayer graphing now select this a view along the a axis and then select this white arrow select the nano sheets which you which don't want to show and simply use your keyboard and delete those unwanted atom now select this black arrow and then you can start to move your graphite now you can start to move your graphene monolayer shape now still the unit cell is visible and also if you want to edit the detail about the atoms so let's click on the properties in the journal you will find the unit cell so select this one do not show so the unit cell age will disappear then you can go to the atom over here you will find various options for example if you want to change the color you can just simply use this one and change the color of this atom okay and then if you want to have more shininess and you can use different way to present your atom in more 3d format so you can use a shininess for white color like 100 percent and then over here you can also find option for red eye type you can use atomic ionic or van der Waal. show as a ball show as a so many stuff is there i think you can go around and play with those different option if you go and click on the bond you will find bond style so if you use a unicolor it will look like this one if you use a bicolor it's a pink color color line okay and over here you can change the radius and color so you can change the radius and width of the uh, the bond and over here you can find option for the color so now is a black color and here again you can change the material style shininess is because already i changed white so it will remain the same for both the bond and for the atoms so just click ok now let's save this file so how to do click on the file and over here you will find option for the export raster image so once you go this window you will find there are multiple options so let's consider first jpg okay and save so it will give you option for the scale so let's consider x scale of 1 you can change to 5 10 if you change number it will be a multiple of that number so i'll select 1 and click ok do one more time click on the file and export raster image and this time instead of jpg select the png file format so i will show you later what is the difference between these two file formats so select the png keep the same name save and now it will show additional option let the background be transparent so check this box and click ok done now you can go back to the download folder and you will see the difference so this is the jpg which has a white background and here you have a graphite which has a without background okay so that's the main difference now let's go back to the ws2 so this is a unit cell go to the edit click on the bond and in the bond the the method is slightly different here we need to create a new bond okay so click on the new and you can choose w2w or w2s and the search mode search a2 bonded to a1 use the first one and boundary mode is use the third one and simply click on apply but nothing has changed right so you can try it change to w and do again nothing has changed so what is the problem over here actually in this case we need to change this maximum length okay it worked once done then click ok use your mouse or the zoom out button to zoom in and zoom out now here again we have unit cell and the two layers so first select the a select the white arrow 
select this atom and use your mouse to delete then you can go to the mm, okay first use the black arrow and let's see how it look like okay and uh, around c axis okay that's cool and now select uh, go to the properties in the properties do not show so unit cell is gone about the atoms you can change the so here because we have two different atoms so one is a tungsten another is sulfur so sulfur is yellow and tungsten is gray color by default the shine is 20 so i want to increase it to 100 and instead of gray i will choose the white color okay and uh, again as i told you can play with other options over here go to the bond so here you will see this is a bicolor cylinder because one is a gray color other is a yellow color so it's a bicolor if you choose the unicolor it will be one color and you can choose what color you want if you use a color but a line so it will be the line and over here you can change the line color okay so stacks and slices you can do this thing later i think that's all over here so you can zoom out and let's say you want to export follow the same process export a raster image and if you choose a png file format ws2 save and over here select scale 1 to 5 because if you use a higher number the the quality of image will be better okay uh, i think you can play with those thing again and check the let the background be transparent okay similarly go again file and export raster image instead of png let's consider jpg and do the same so scale up one okay now let's go to the download folder and over here you will find ws2 jpg so with a white background and then we have ws2 png without background so that's how we can export these images if you want to save this folder go to file and save as and then you can give the name so ws2 i will keep in the download save similarly i can choose the graphite and file save as and the graphite save so you simply go to the download folder and here you will find the graphite vista and ws2 vista you click over here and it will happen it will help you to open the the saved file if you want to copy this along abc axis again you can do the same choose the a axis go to the file export raster image ws2 and choose the file format so let's say png and save because already name is there so let's say ws2 and this is a axis save scale and the transparency okay okay so go back to the download and ws2 a axis so this is along the a axis that's all i hope through this video you learn how to draw 2d nano material using Vista software. Uh, in my next video, I will be discussing about heterostructure, how to draw heterostructure by using Vista software. Okay. So if this video has helped you anyway, then don't forget to hit the like button and do share and subscribe. Also press the bell icon button to be updated with my new videos.